everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your third week of December reading start from the 15th through the 21st of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. I have already pulled out the cards. Uh, so yeah, uh, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's dive into the reading. Let's find out what is coming up for you guys for this week time uh, starting tomorrow. Sagittarians, let's see. I'm going to take the tarot first and then we're going to pull out, uh, then we're going to check out the uh, oracle pull, uh, pulled out oracle cards that um, we have for you guys. Let's start with the tarot first. Let's see what is help for the Sagittarians. Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, The Fool. Wow. This week is going to be amazingly good for you. You are having some sort of proposal coming your way. It doesn't have to be with, uh, with the, you know, one-to-one -one proposal. It can be coming to a family, friend, or something around those lines. It can be one-to-one -one as well. Maybe somebody is going to propose you, come forward to, or to offer you their love. Uh, this person could be somebody uh, who have been spying on you. Maybe this person is somebody who has been entrusted in you. But yes, I do see that, you know, this person entering in your life is going to open up a new chapter in your life it's going to be like you know putting an end to the past putting an end to the loneliness putting an end to the singlehood but yes i do see a new beginning happening for you this week time um i do see the energy of this person entering in your life in the very beginning of the week like maybe around the 15 16 you might meet this person you might start talking about this person to someone this person and their energy is definitely entering in your life in the, in the very beginning of the week time. Uh, by the time you reach towards the uh, end of the week, uh, like around the 21st, I feel like you, know, you will already have a few um, uh, you know, talks with this person, uh, direct, indirect, whatever it is going to be. But yes, I do see that this person would be in your life. As you end this week time, it's going to be you feeling so fresh, so happy, so relaxed, so um upbeat so excited for a future with this new person in your life i feel like you know for some of you maybe this person is some somebody from the past um whatever the case is i feel like you know uh the message the communication is definitely going to happen uh this week time with this person whether you meet this person this week time or not that's going to be different for different people like i said face to face or one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, or you know through somebody but yes this person this new um offer is definitely coming in your life this week time uh which is definitely like you know whatever that was like you know uh for some of you this offer could be regarding your work life as well if, if that's what you are waiting for if that's something which you know uh, bothers you at time if not then this is somebody definitely for for your love life um I, but it would be different maybe for some of you this offer is going to be in your work life situation as well whatever the case is it's definitely going to make you feel so happy excited and everything is going to feel like you know as if uh, you are uh, reaching a new, uh, you know, height for yourself in whatever that you are doing in your life. So I feel like, you know, it's definitely going to end a bad phase of your life for sure. This person, this offer, this news that you are hearing during this week time is going to definitely open doorways of abundance to you because you are going to start feeling so happy, excited and everything positive. So uh, let's see what the uh, clarifier has to add to the reading for you guys. Wow. I, I believe this week is going to be amazingly perfect. Let's see what this offer is going to be all about. Three of Swords, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles. It could be an offer that uh, that you um, hold on. Let me take more cards here. Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, Page of uh, Pentacles. Okay, hold on. What is that? All good. Wow. Now I'm picking up two stories here. One, this person could be somebody that uh, that left you in the past or pushed you away in the past, who is coming back in your life. 
And if that is the case, I feel like, you know, there has been a third party situation involved in that situation. It wasn't because of that person didn't want to be with you. It was more of a third person getting involved, be that a family member, be that a new person in their life. Something had happened there, which, which made them, um, you know, uh, choose the other person, be that out of pressure from them or whatever the case has been. It can be for some of you, it can be that person. For others of you, I feel like, you know, maybe you have been waiting on for that person to come in your life. And now you are letting go of that feeling that, okay, fine, I don't want this person. I'm so dead with the, you know, I'm so done and tired of waiting this waiting for this person. And this person has been keeping me blocked since wherever. So maybe you are going to move on with the offer, which is a new one, which is a stable one. This could be the one that you loved in the past. This could be the one that is going to bring you stability in your life, which is going to bring you happiness in your life. For some of you, you might be having two people in your life coming forward. Maybe it's going to be one person is what you are leaving behind and one person is coming in your life. It can be for, for some of you, maybe it's going to be two people coming in your life. One is going to be the past person who you left or who pushed you away from them. And the other person is going to be the one who is offering you stable connection. Both of them, I feel like, you know, even if it is somebody from the past coming back, that person too would be offering you something stable, but the decision is going to be yours. And I do see you choosing what makes you feel stable, happy, independent, uh, feel uh, like, you know, the right thing to do. Somebody who is ready to offer you a uh, marriage, commitment and everything good. You are not going to let a past person to come in your life and then, you know, just, just, um, um, bring the tower moment again in your life and then you leave uh, leave you out of uh, you know uh, leave you out with, with the same situation so I don't see um, for majority of you giving uh, the chance or opportunity for the past person to reunite with you I do see you ch uh, choosing the new person for sure that's that's what I'm picking up for uh, for the majority of you and I feel like you know it's definitely an ending to being single for majority of you like for 90% of you I do see that you know, if there has been like, you know, no connection, um, no relationship since quite some time now, it's time for you to get into a new relationship with somebody new who's coming forward. Let's take one card from the middle of the deck. Now, one thing I would suggest to you, because I do see that there is some sort of a block in, in your situation. Now that block is coming from the stress that you are taking of being single. Just let it go. Just let it be. Let it go. Just know that somebody is coming in your life. Just know that somebody exactly how you wanted that person to be is entering in your life. So just let that positive feeling get inside of your brain, body, mind. So just let that, you know, feeling um, make you feel at peace, comfortable and happy. Uh, relaxed in harmony with what you want what you desire in your love life just let that happen let that come let that you know just just tell the universe yes I'm ready for it yes I want it yes I'm so happy that this is happening finally so be in that vibe and so it will come to you so let's uh, let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading let's start with this card here let's see Look at the bigger picture right now. Like maybe you are seeing things from one perspective. Maybe you need to broaden that, you know, angle of you looking at things. It doesn't have to be in your love life. It can be in any area of your life. Let's see what the card says. Anything half done is as good as not done. Implement your thoughts and decisions now with intuition and contemplation. This card is an epitome of good luck, great opportunities and an abundance of wealth. An extremely powerful uh, Davy, this manifests you destiny according to your present karma. This card confirms that the life is full of surprises. Mystery and suspense are in the air. Expect miracles to work their magic in your life. Too much activity around you could be disturbing. Slight delays may surface at work, but with time and patience, you will move forward. The flow of powerful energies will direct you to take right decisions. Look for signs and answers from the universe and draw all the conclusions with complete clarity of thought. So that's what it says. Let's see more cards. Let's see which color are going to be lucky for you during this time. Blue, activate your healing power, number 37. If you are choosing to walk away from the past or a past person, I would definitely suggest you to heal yourself before you accept the new person's offer, new person uh, 
when you start talking to this person you should have no blocks from the past left in you be that in your subconscious or you know otherwise as well just be clear with that um this shade of blue is going to be lucky for you so you can wear that in clothing you can wear that in um you know in gemstones if you are into that uh then we do have hold on so yeah so uh where were we i think we were checking this card out uh mauve number 43 enjoy clear hearing i feel like you know this time it's uh, it's very important for you to be um open to receive messages uh in forms of uh, voices maybe maybe you're gonna hear somebody's name maybe you know if you are talking about the past person here maybe you're gonna start seeing their name a lot um maybe you're gonna be uh seeing or hearing some messages around that same person uh through different mediums so just be open to that and um Plus, I would suggest you to keep your uh, self aware of your surroundings during this time because it's going to be very helpful for you. Let's see what the other oracle has to add. Action speeds, uh, speak loudly, express your love through actions. Um, I feel like, you know, if a past person is returning, you really have to let them know that you want to see things from their actions. You don't want to hear their or you don't want to believe their words. Uh, so let them prove that they are worthy of a second chance with you. So yeah, let's see what others, other oracle cards has to add. Dream and journey. Um, don't don't share the things out uh, with anyone until unless you manifest it until unless you have it. Uh, whatever your dream is, whatever your desire is, whatever your goal is, just don't share it out when you are on your journey from your you know current situation to what you know uh when you manifest this the journey of be that you know one day journey two day or two day journey whatever it is don't share it out until unless you uh you have it already in your hands the offer the love the person back in your life don't share it out until unless you see things from their actions that yes they are now ready to give you what you want so be that a specific new one uh, be that somebody from the past as well. So just be careful with that. Air guardians shift your perception. Uh, I already said that with the with the first card here that you really need to keep. Um, you really have to basically open up to see things from different perspectives as well. So just be clear with that as well. Passion, trust, and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Just follow your heart during this time. Follow your passion. Whatever you feel passionate about, go for that. New person, past person, whatever it is. Uh, career, uh, when it comes to career choices as well, follow what your heart is asking you to go for. Let's see more cards. Nothing is yet set in stone. Again, don't share things out until unless you have it. Until unless you're so 100% sure about it. So right now, because things can change, things can shift. So just be careful with that. Until unless you have it, don't share it out with anyone. And um, if you are, um, try to see things through before you make any decision, especially when it comes to a past person. Nothing will come out of the situation. Maybe maybe the past person situation is not as good as a new person offer is. So just be careful with the past person because I'm picking up the signs of uh, it's more like, you know, red flags all over the place when it comes to the past person. So I would definitely suggest you maybe you have to hear something from the uh, about the past person as well. Maybe maybe you're going to get to know something about them as well. Just keep yourself aware of what is going on. Um, especially if the past person is returning, just be sure of what they are telling you. Are they telling you the truth or not? It's going to be very important and crucial for you to know. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, reading. If the reading resonated with you, to like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.